Hey, 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 guys, we are on episode number six. Now, we're gonna buy a new tractor. The 4520 is a big tractor, but I need a good big tractor for Balin. And the 4520 is gonna run the rake most of the time, and it's gonna be on the auger. So I'm gonna need another tractor. So we're buying it. You probably already saw it in the thumbnail, but first I'm gonna move the 4520 just over here quick. Also, okay, so next video, even though like we don't have the money right now, but these combines, like, sometimes they have problems on loading into, like, for example, the Kinsey. So, I'm thinking about upgrading combines already. I hate it. I hate it, though. So, maybe we'll go to, like, a 71. Okay, think, hear, hear me out quick. What are you guys thinking we should do, man? Okay, so I want to stay with Case because Welker Farms uses Case. So, I want to stay with Case. I could go to New Holland, but I don't know. So, I'm thinking we could go to either. Okay, so it's either we go to, like, a 7130. We'll get two 7130s, which isn't bad actually this would kind of be downsizing look the grain tank right now ours holds like twelve thousand, and this only holds ten thousand. that that'd kind of be downsizing but i want dude i really to be honest i really want to go to like a, a 92 40 like big or we could say with the 81 20 i'd probably throw duels on it this time but i want to go big so that we can run a 50 foot header i want to run a big header on this now this is crazy welker's probably watching this like holy crap that thing is huge but i'd love to run, run the draper there is a super draper there should be a 45 or yeah this is super draper this is the biggest they go so i want to I, I do want to run that but we'll we'll see i i want to get that for next video this video what we are buying check her out dude check her out we're buying a 60 series two wheel drive i'm thinking 47 60 we could go insane i've never even ho heard of a 49 60 but man I just gotta think this would have so much power i don't think we need a 49 ah should we do it we could go 49 62 that would it would be too much though i want to get a big tractor like old iron tractor and a 49 60 would probably be too much we'll go with the 47 60 we want oh we could put duels on it duels would look sweet man but we don't need duels for the baler really okay we don't need duels right now but it would be good okay uh, we could put saddle tanks eventually. So this will kind of we'll use this as a sprayer sprayer tractor too. If we do if we do need to do any spraying with it. Okay, so we're gonna purchase this thing, and now we're also gonna purchase a barreler. Where's my barrelers at? We're gonna purchase a John Deere biller to go along with it. I know I'm kind of purchasing a lot of John Deere. It's kind of weird. Maybe I should stop purchasing so much John Deere. So we're gonna bail up a couple straw bales. We're dude. There's no way we could bail up this whole whole field. But I wanted to go. I want to go square bales what i want to do so bailing technology i want to go square bales is this a square builder okay this wraps them does this wrap them four thousand i don't know if this is a is this a square baler or round baler though i don't know if it's a square baler or if it's a round baler man i don't know it seems see it seems like a square baler it should be a square baler. It really should be a square baler. For now, I'm just going to go with the 690. That should be fine. Bales are still... I guess the bales are a little smaller. I think this one just wraps them. Watch. We could just keep the bales outside all wrapped, but I don't need them wrapped really. So we'll go to the 690. I don't have enough money right now. Okay, I'm going to actually borrow money to get the 690 is what we're going to do. So I'm going to borrow just a tad bit of money. We still have a lot of grain, guys. We're getting off the field right now. Just a, just a tad bit. Just a tad bit more. There we go. Okay. We should have enough to get that. Also, combine. We still haven't finished this field. I, I'm I'm so close to being done with this field. Uh, enough money. Sweet, we got her. Okay, so we're gonna bring that over. But first, I think I gotta empty this combine over here. It's gotta be about full. Um, so we're gonna go take. We're gonna go run the semi out of the field because right now the grain cart. We're having troubles with the grain cart and unloading into or the. We're having troubles with the combine unloading into the grain cart. So I'm gonna run the semi out there. We're gonna jump in the Pete 389. And then right away, I'm thinking I'm going to disc up field two. Then we're going to start another field. And I'm going to buy a couple of these. I want to, oh, don't tell me these are, oh, oh, oh boy. Don't tell me. Okay, these are, oh, it says these are growing. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so this is ready to harvest. Field 13, we own that field. It's soybeans. We need to start harvesting soybeans. Man, we're, we're going to get a lot of money. And so there's no sell point in here. There's no, like, true like place i can sell these so i'm gonna put a placeable sell point down 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 at the elevator so it actually has the prices i think that's the best thing i can do Ooh, helper a complete the task so what we can do is we can just bring helper a back here that should work there we go okay we'll just bring her back oh wait oh wrong combine but anyways we might as well bring this combine back to the field too if you guys are enjoying welker farms let me know by smacking that like button now a lot of you guys said like squad i like i like iowa better which 
I understand because you guys aren't from Montana. Very few people even. Oh, I, I guess I can't say that, but not as many people live in Montana. And this is probably more. You guys are probably used to more Midwest style, not these huge open fields. I understand. I understand. But it, you got to admit, it's kind of cool using all this big equipment. I'm going to keep. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a lot of equipment on this farm. We're going to get all different types of equipment. Maybe even place down like placeable chickens, even though Welker doesn't have placeable chickens. I want to do some. I want to try to work some livestock in on this farm. I want. And if you got any ideas on what we should do, if we should plant like a weird crop, let me know. We could we could do some of that too. But uh, yeah, yeah. But oh, Welker, dude, Welker's videos they're getting good, man. He was just he was just picking up a big boulder out of the out of the uh, out of the field the other day and just giving it and just putting it for his playset for his kids. It was cool. It was cool watching that video. I think I shared it with you guys too. In case you guys want to check that one out. So we're I'm gonna fold my pipe out. We're gonna move around here and then we're gonna just dump in the semi. Do not hit the semi. I think yep, we just hit the semi just barely. Oh, we gotta get closer. Okay, hold on. There we go. Now it's gonna unload with grain. Okay, sweet. Now 47 six oh also how am I gonna haul bales? I think I'm gonna use the comments. I think I'm gonna get like a bale trailer and use the Kelmans to do it. I don't, I don't have a tractor that will lift bales though. That's the thing. I need to get a tractor that uh, has a loader on it. So maybe we'll get a case. I want to get a case tractor like this with a loader would be perfect if we could do something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna tab to the new tractor, the 4760. This is gonna be a big tractor. Like, not just like 4760 is a big tractor. The model in game is like super big. So, watch me put it up to the 4520. There we go, the 4760. It does look what this is it's just a big tractor, dude. This thing is a big tractor. It may look, I don't honestly, it does look a little I don't know. It looks a little bad. Like it's not the best mod now that I think of it. It looks like it's from FS15, to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna hook her up. Can I hook up the PTO? Please tell me it runs still. Okay, so there's no PTO hookup, even though the PTO obviously was just there, which is fine. It should still run the baler i'm just gonna make sure okay i gotta unfold this thing trying to unfold it oh there we go okay it should be unfolding in the back yeah that's what's happening but first we're gonna we're gonna get going though and okay yeah so we can bail okay sweet just making sure we can bail there we go so this is gonna be the bailing tractor maybe i should have got the 4840 dude 4840 okay i want to uh, okay okay decision time decision time do we go with oh I don't have any game. Oh man, I don't have a game. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so we could go with 4760 or I just had the 4840 in here. We could go with the 4840, which is sweet tractor too. Man, um dude, okay, so 4760 or 4840. Man, dude, we could get a 4840. That'd look good too. Here, I'm gonna borrow money just to put it side by side, just so we can get a better understanding. I will sell one of them. One of them I'll obviously sell. So I'm just gonna borrow a little money just to put them side by side, so we can actually like see the difference, see what one you guys want. Forty, forty, or forty seven, sixty. They're both big tractors. Uh, staying regular. Yep, that should be good. Okay, I gotta go grab this forty, forty. It is just gonna be right here. Okay, hop the fence, dude. What is this? Is this a fat tractor? I never know these European brands. I remember playing FS thirteen. I think FS13, no, FS11. It was FS2011. I couldn't afford FS2013. It was a lot more expensive, so I was like, hey, why not get FS11? And it had these. Yeah, no, oh, you know what? I think I couldn't afford FS, no, it was definitely FS13 was the new game, and FS11 was the older version. And I was like, oh, man, I can't, FS13 is kind of a lot. So I ended up getting FS11 using those tractors. It was still sweet at the time. The game was so fun. It probably is probably cool today still. So, here's the 4840. I'm going to drive this. Oh, this thing takes forever to start up, I think. Yeah, yep. It sounds pretty cool, though. You got to admit. Once it starts starting up, and then you'll hear it go full idle. There we go. I'm, ju I'm just going to drive, though. So, 4840 or 4760 over there. Which one is it going to be? Dude, the 4840 is a sweet tractor, man. Sounds cool, too. Okay, here's the 4840. Put them side by side. The 4760, I bet, is going to look a lot. Oh, no, they don't. It doesn't look a lot bigger. Oh, dude, look at her. 4760, 4840. Man, these are kind of the same tractor. They're similar. Tires look a little different on the 4760. They look like more like squarish almost, you know? But they do look good. Look at them. They are basically a, a similar tractor. Okay, anyways, what's it going to be, guys? 
What is it going to be for right now? I'm going to leave the 4840 here. Just literally... Okay, I should probably put it back in the lot quick. We'll put it back in the lot. And I'm going to drive the 4760. But I got to look at your guys' comments first to see what one we actually use. So for now, we'll use the 4760. And then based on the comments, I got to see what, what one... We'll just go top comment. Top comment, Windsor. Okay, throw the 40, or 4840 just in the parking lot over here quick. There we go. Sweet. Okay, she's away. Um. Oh, okay, 4760. We're just going to tab over there quick. We're just going to jump in here. Oh, 47. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, and they both go 21 mile an hour. Both have roughly around the same horsepower, which is perfect. And then we got to finish that field over there, bring all that equipment back. You know what I just realized? I can start bailing this up. That's what we're going to do. So we're on the edge of the straw field over here. Not straw field, but... Uh, uh, barley field and I'm gonna start bailing these up now. We're gonna eventually sell the bales for money That's what that's my whole goal here. I don't know if we'll bail everything So I'm gonna say to just leave all of this here all the straw here so, or some and some people said to bail it all up I think it'd be cool to bail it all up. So that's what we're doing Luckily now I shouldn't have to stop to turn off the baler because it's square bales They just they just pop out the back quick round bales. You always hit a stop every time square bales oh, I love square bales, dude we can just keep going. I'll set cruise control right there. And we're just going to keep going. This isn't bad at all, too. Bailing isn't bad. Maybe we can get two tractors rolling. We could just have a big bailing crew. But I think what I'm going to want is I'm, I'm probably going to want auto load. That's the thing. I got to make sure I get auto load. There you go. Bales are starting to come out. Dude, can you hire out a worker? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you can hire out a worker run this. But it's working good. There we go. Okay, so we could just run it. Oh, man. What if I could... Dude, honestly, if we had two of these... We get the whole field done so quick. Maybe we should just bail everything up. One thing I was wanting to do is get a bigger, uh, get a bigger rake so we could combine these windrows together, and that way I wouldn't have to. It just saved me so much time. I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to bail all this. But I guess this is what we're doing for now. It work. It seems to work good. Oh, dude, that baler. It's gonna get dirty, man. Oh my gosh. We okay. We yeah, dude. I should get an auto load trailer. Okay, are you guys cool with me getting an auto load trailer? That means we want to be like lifting the bales. You just drive by it and it just automatically loads into them, which would be perfect for this field, this biggest size field. You could literally go like 20 mile an hour right, right beside it and pick it all up. Oh, there we go. Sweet, and you just make the turn back around. There we go. There's this little bale just hanging on over there. Oh, dude, this works perfect. There we go. We're going to have so many bales through here. Oh, oh, it even ate up all that. Sweet, dude. This baler is good. Okay, it is going to get dirty, though, dude. Oh, my gosh, man. This works good, though. I like it. Okay, I'm going to stop right here for now. I want to I, I do a time lapse of me just going up and down, up and down, up and down for, like, literally an hour. But we got to get over to this combine and get the combine off. Oh, oh, my bad. Um, And get the combine off the field quick because it is done. Oh, there's a little part over here. And then what I was wanting to do too, oh, there's some grain we spilled over there, if you guys remember that. Yeah, one thing about that, like, not not, not too many, many of you guys were fans of that, but, like, in Farm Simulator, literally everything goes right. That's not how it is in real life. So I try to be really realistic by, like, spilling grain and stuff. Obviously, I just staged that, um, but it's, it's still kind of fun and cool, you know. So, Harvester, we're bringing back. We are officially done with this field. Now, should I pull out the big bud and start cultivating this field, just start tearing it under we could plow it oh that's what i need to do okay no i think tomorrow's tomorrow's video will be a plow day or not tomorrow's video but the next day's video so two days from now will be a plow day in the morning okay there's a couple spots this thing missed that will be perfect dude and we may need a couple plows rolling on this field would be sweet we could get a plow for every tractor and just have a plow day oh that'd be cool too okay there's a there's a lot of cool things we could be doing man I, okay i'm excited for this maybe oh wait oh you guys don't have the map i keep forgetting man i keep forgetting you guys don't have the map i was gonna say we could have a plow day and everybody could come out here we could literally just plow together somebody could be around the 4520 somebody could be around the 4760 if we keep that and uh somebody could we could even plow with these case combines man if we really had to look they got a hitch on the back why not now nah, they probably wouldn't be doing so good with the hydrostatic, but it's cool. So we're gonna dump in. Okay, we gotta move. Uh, yeah, we gotta move this other uh, combine quick. Okay, combine is done for now. I'm not gonna start beans. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, just put them out front. That's where I usually put them. We got all the trucks out front here too. There we go. Am I hitting anything? I don't think I am. 
Okay, we'll swing one here and then put it right next to the. Oh, oh, put it right, right next to the 4520, it looks like, is what we're gonna do. There we go. This is where a Welker literally keeps just all their equipment out here. I think I'm gonna put the other combine right in front of that. Ooh, I probably should have just pulled that one up. Would have been a little smarter. But that big butt over here, the KT320, we or HN320, I should say. We haven't even, I haven't even used it much. We probably I should probably get used in it a little more. I just like I like the looks of the uh KT4 is it a 450? I think the KT450 a little better. It just I don't know, just straight off of looks is the reason kind of why I'm using it right now. Okay, oh dude, this combine is kind of dirty. Must have gotten some mud. There we go. Now we'll load in here. And eventually we probably should sell some grain. I kind of just hit the hit the semi there. Hit part of the wall over there. Okay, 4760. Let's keep bailing. Now, I want to pick up an auto load trailer. That'd be sweet if we could. Man, if we could put a, pick up an auto load trailer, oh, uh, we could get we could get so much more done too with an auto load trailer. I, I feel like I gotta find one now. We gotta get an auto load trailer. But for now, 4760, we're gonna get bailing and just going up and down, up and down, up and down these. Okay, make sure bailer's on. It is. It's lowered. He's ready to rock and roll, dude. You know what I could do is I could get a bailer. Like this exact same thing, and do the follow me mod like I did the other time, and just make and just get it. Oh, 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 oh! Just get it right along. Like I could have it offset to the right, and get it offset to the right to the perfect amount because that's how we harvested. And that way, if I went and say I made a turn to the left, it would make a turn to the left, and most likely the wind row made a turn to the left too, as long as the combine kind of went straight and back up and down these. Should work, dude. We could do that too. So maybe I could get two balers going, and we could just have a big bailing setup too. Or we could get one lonely farmer set up. If you guys know what, if anybody knows one lonely farmer, dude, I, I've watched that guy for like three or four years. Oh my gosh, I've watched him forever. We could have like a crone bailer going and he has like an 8530 like European style. I don't know if I want European style, but we could do something like one lonely farmer set up. That'd be kind of cool too, I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm I, since I can't make that turn all the way, I'm going to take this one. Oh wait, does that even make sense? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take this row, but am I going to come back for this? I'm trying to think. So now, yeah, whatever. Okay, so I'll just take a right-hand turn next time. I'll swing a little wider and get this row to the right side of us quick. There we go. Okay, so you can see right now we're running at 12.6, 12.5 mile an hour. You can see it down there. So it's running in a half increment right now. So that's how these run. It'll run at 12, 12.5, 13, 13.5. 14 14.5 mile an hour they run in half mile increments that's why maybe your grain cart is going a tad bit faster than your combine even though it says you're both running at six mile an hour that's one thing i gotta think i forgot a long time ago this guy messaged me and he kind of explained that to me i was like oh that makes sense why well, i always get the combine run a little bit slower or faster than the grain cart. i can never match them up sometimes there we go dude this thing what's that sound does anybody know what that sound is? Oh, okay, dude, sound like a hydraulic hose broke. That'd be sweet if we had breakdowns. Dude, what if FS19 has breakdowns? Where if tractors break down after certain hours, hydraulic hose like leak or something, or oil leak, you gotta take them in and get them repaired. Oh, that'd be sweet if FS19 has that. We're gonna have so many bales, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm throwing cruise control on, and we are literally just cruising up, up down this. There we go. Okay, next video. Oh my gosh, what if we get all this done? Next video will literally just be 100%. It should be cultivating or plowing. Plowing. You know what? It might be plowing or it may be also uh, harvesting the, our bean field back there with our new combines. Because I'm thinking about getting the new combines too. And we got to decide on the tractor. So remember guys, in case you didn't know, do we get the 4840 or do we get the 4760? Cast your votes. Put your votes in. I want to know what we should get, guys. Let me know what we should get, guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video on Walker Farms. It was a little short. I got to be honest. It was a little short. But um, I, usually, okay, usually I'm going to try to hit 30 minutes. Does 30 minutes sound good? 40 is a little too much. 20, like this video is probably a little, uh, a little. I don't know. It might, it might, it might not be long enough. But anyways, guys. Just let me know on that one. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, brothers. Appreciate it, guys.